we got a spider here. Yeah, it's a big tarantula. That's the biggest one we've seen. What I'm hoping to find is a huge tarantula, and I'm gonna free handle it to see if tarantulas are dangerous to people. I'm in Kasachi National Forest in north central Louisiana looking for spiders. But not just any spiders. Elusive giants, normally associated with the deserts of the southwest and the rainforests of South and Central America. Today, we're looking for tarantulas in Louisiana. This hilly, rocky terrain has the perfect hot and dry habitat. And according to our guide CJ, these massive spiders thrive out here if you know where to look. I've been working with spiders for a long time. For the longest time, I was pretty afraid of these little eight-legged guys. But this year I've been working with wolf spiders, fishing spiders, uh, here in Louisiana handling venomous species like recluses and widows. There's one last spider, one last spider that'll kind of top off my adventures for this year, and that is a tarantula. We're here in Kasachi National Forest, flipping rocks, looking for all kinds of crazy arachnids and myriapods, but what I'm hoping to find is a huge tarantula, and I'm gonna free handle it to see if tarantulas are dangerous to people. Tarantula husk, that's a good sign. They're definitely here. There are signs and clues of these huge spiders everywhere. What I'm looking for is an absolutely massive spider, hopefully a big female, to really see if they're gentle giants or massive threats. Yeah, scorpion? There's a little tarantula under here. Oh, a little tarantula, even better. Uh. Wow, wow, wow. Sorry, I'm like a little kid. You guys are so cool. Look at this guy. This is a baby Texas, ooh, don't jump. Texas brown tarantula. Crazy little guys. This is the, I've worked with mygalomorphs before, little purse webs, but nothing like this. This is absolutely insane. And they weren't kidding when they said that uh, tarantulas could live out here. I was doubting, but. Right here is living proof that they're here, and hopefully we'll get some bigger ones. That's a great start though. Beautiful little spider. And you can just see the difference in their their face to the uh, the true spiders and how much it looks just like the purse web spider I found a few weeks ago. That looks absolutely nuts. Just how crazy looking this animal is. Oh wow. Baby. Texas brown tarantula. I'm gonna get him back underneath his rock because it is obscenely hot out here and we don't want him to cook. But uh, looking like some good hunting out here. So we'll get some big tarantulas in just a minute. This place is like nothing I've ever seen before. You know, I've seen pine trees and habitat like this before, but the terrain is insane. You know, this is some of the most brutal hiking I've ever had to do the hills, the cliffs, the lack of shade and all the rockiness, it's just, it's very, very different. And as a result of that, the kinds of animals that are out here are also very, very different. Funny thing is like people are here, like the, if you look at like the view behind us, it looks picturesque. Like I feel like this belongs in a, a postcard or something. And there's a lot of people, it's, it's funny because people are here like doing, um, like professional photo shoots and stuff and like in like fancy clothes and stuff and there's me cj and zach and we're all just tromping around in like hiking clothes with like cameras and backpacks um i wonder how many people would actually come here for photo shoots if they knew tarantulas and giant centipedes were lurking around we hiked into the evening over some of the roughest terrain i've seen in my life and through brutal heat the longleaf pine habitat is full of trees but offers little shade Perfect hot conditions for tarantulas and scorpions, but very challenging for us. Zach seemed to flip every single tarantula on the trip, and I turned up nothing but our <laughs> only giant centipede during the daytime. I can't find nothing. We began the long hike back to the truck, and then, right as we rounded a corner on the trail... And we got a spider here. Got a spider. Yeah, it's a big tarantula. That's the biggest one we've seen. All right, this is a probably an adult Texas brown tarantula. Seems to be just coming out for the evening. It's getting late. Let's see if I can get on my hand. Come on. Come on. All right. Now this, this will be the biggest spider I've ever held. And honestly, I gotta say this thing has a weight to it. This is nothing like anything I get back home in North Carolina. The only mygalomorphs we get are the purse webs 
and they are only a tiny fraction of this guy's size. I have always, always wanted to work with tarantulas. We've got a couple of small ones today, but this is an absolute unit, almost the size of my palm. Ooh, don't fall there. And it's so weird how these guys behave compared to like wolf spiders, fishing spiders, things like that. They're so much slower and almost dumpier. Uh, we had one that was a little bit feisty, but even the feistier end of these guys, not as skittish as a wolf spider or a fishing spider would be. Not gonna bear things for us. Just gonna walk around. Now, these guys are incredibly itchy when they walk over you. Unlike the other spiders I've worked with, they have these really weird little hooks on their feet. And they almost like, I don't know, irritate my skin. I don't know if it's like the combination of sweat too, but like I feel itchy with this guy walking on me. Unlike with the other spiders, which almost just feel like a regular bug or something walking on my skin. This guy's much itchier. Wolf spiders and fishing spiders, are, they're jumpy. They, they, you know, the slightest movement of your hand and they, they jerk or they jump off into oblivion. Um, I don't get the sense the tarantula would, would do that. So I, I'm feeling very secure that I'm not gonna like injure the animal. That's, that's the first and number one priority. A bite from this tarantula would absolutely hurt. Those fangs are massive. This is a huge, huge spider. And even just, even if there was no venom involved at all, um, fangs of those size sinking into my hand, that is gonna hurt. But that venom is actually not that bad. See, what I'm actually more worried about with a tarantula here in the Western Hemisphere, a New World tarantula, what I'm actually more worried about is its hairs. And that's because that hair is actually a really interesting defense mechanism. Sort of like a porcupine. If you really piss one of these spiders off, they can flick those hairs at you like projectiles. Now, if it gets my hand, it'll cause me to itch unless I have an allergic reaction. But what I'm most concerned about is my face and my eyes. If this tra if this tarantula flicks hairs into my in my hand, it'll itch, yeah. But if it gets in my eye, that could be serious damage. We're talking potentially blinding. Let's see, the thing is, the projectile hairs are only used in defense. This is not an animal that's gonna simply rear up and flick hairs at you just because you're in its space. We had to go way out of our way, especially here in Louisiana, to find this spider. So in most cases, in most parts of these animals range, they're not gonna be in your house. You know, they might pass through your yard or something if they're walking, but they're really not gonna approach you or come near you. These are secretive, slow moving predators looking for just insects and other small animals to eat. They have no interest in big giant mammals like humans. So my final verdict is the tarantula might be big and scary looking, but looks are about as threatening as this thing gets. Huge, huge spider here in Louisiana. At this point, it's hard to say what the, what the highlight of my trip is. These guys are all awesome. We're this guy back on his way. But if you wanna see the previous biggest spider that I ever caught, check out this video right here. And until then, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.